guys and welcome to today's video maybe video of the week but today i'm going to be reviewing some gundam tools that i got recently because i'm going to be building a gundam for youtube pretty soon so go check that out um i got these on facebook so and the and the seller only has one of these so the link will not be in the system in the description below so please sorry uh but starting off at number one as i've shown you earlier it's these uh plastic nippers this uh plato sign it's pretty popular with the gundam builders these days uh this, these are uh, pinchers these nippers are really sharp it's good for cutting through things easily if you don't want to use scissors there's also this little curve here so you can just angle it so you can get it off right off the side number two got a knife a zecto knife these are some very high precision knives sharp knives as well don't focus anyway these sharp knives are mostly used for removing seam lines and nubs from the plastic of your gunpla so I'd recommend getting both of these, and when you get these, I recommend you also get some files. The set only came with one file that already had sandpaper on it. This is a smooth sandpaper, so it's kind of easier to rub it off, rub off seam lines, nubs. It also doesn't scratch the plastic. I used to use this really rough sandpaper. But I realized I know what to do, and I realized that I could still use this by sticking it onto here. These are two blank foam pieces, same length as the board that it came with. So I think that you're supposed to add some extra sandpaper on this when the original here wears out. So these three are essentials. As well as with this Zacto knife, it comes with these extra blades because sometimes the blades here, when you stick it into something and then you wiggle it around, the tips can break. So you can just remove it and then turn it around. The way you remove it is actually just it's a lefty loosey, if you know what that means. And then this part is gonna actually come out. It won't focus for some reason. And then now you can just pull out your blade. There's a little slot here in the middle. Or you can just put it back in. As easy as that. Then you have to tighten it. So it doesn't come out. And you can just cap it off. Keep this away from tiny children who might cut themselves. These extra blades also come in a case, which is really useful. Doesn't get everywhere. And then also, you're gonna need some pens. I don't use the original Gundam pens because they're too expensive and I can't find them during quarantine. Uh, I got this drawing 0 0.05 pen. It's a pretty simple pen. 0 0.05 means 0 0.05 millimeters. And it won't, it won't, it just won't, here we go. So here that's like 0 0.05 millimeters. So that's very small, but very also, but also very precise for your panel lighting. Also, if you want to do it the lazier way, you can always use these brush pens, just scribble it on and then remove it with a cotton bud. These I can also you can also scribble them on the plastic, and to knead it off, you're gonna need a plastic eraser, and just rub. Don't rub it too hard, so you remove the panel lining on the panel lining group itself. So that's number uh, four. Number five, whatever this thing is. I can't quite figure out what this is. It just came with every set. My mom said this is 
this comes with every set she finds online. He, I don't know what this is. If you guys know what it is, comment down below. Also, if you happen to get 500 likes on this thing, I'm building a gun plot for YouTube. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful week. Keep your spirits high during quarantine. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel, share with friends because sharing is caring. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week.